I know I have already talked about uh, the hue light system uh, in my house, but I just got a couple of new products uh, recently and uh, I like to talk about them now because I find them really cool. Echo, turn on portable. Okay. So this is the, the, new, uh, the newest kind of lamp that uh, Philips has released. It's called uh, the Philips Hue Go. And um, you would uh, think that it's an ordinary lamp, but uh, the difference uh, that sets it apart from all the lights is that this one, you can actually unplug it from power and you can take it away with you uh, and it will shine for up to three hours without uh, being connected to the power. So it's really good. I tested it outside in the outdoor also, the intensity is very nice. Um, I like it a lot. If you are not close to your Wi-Fi and um, you want still to use it, it comes with a predefined uh, uh, kind of uh, light settings which you can toggle um, using this uh, button on the bottom of it. So uh, you press it and then it changes to the different kind of modes that it has. I like this uh, mode which uh, uh, mimics the flickering of a candle, really nice and it has different tones that you can uh, toggle in between by pressing the bot uh, button in the bottom so it's uh, it's a really nice um, I got this light uh, as a testing unit uh, uh, I uh, was hesitant to really buy one I didn't know if I would need it or not Like, but I think uh, like uh, for outside uh, in the summer in a patio table uh, or somewhere around in the backyard it will look really nice and like I said it will work for up to three hours without being connected to the power and the uh, best part is that also um, works with uh, the Amazon Echo Echo turn off portable okay so it works with uh, the Amazon Echo even though it's not plugged um, Echo turn on portable Okay. So there it is. It turns it on again every time. Echo, turn off portable. Okay. Echo, turn on portable. Okay. So this is it. You can lay it uh, flat like that or you can, it has a little uh, stand uh, so that you can tilt it up and uh, point it uh, away so if you don't want to look straight to it uh, it looks very nice both ways um, you set it up using your app and you just like any other light you plug it into the power you uh, search for it and um, then you can start right away using it uh, you can either integrate it to one of your scenes and uh, if not you can use it separately it uh, has different tons of colors uh, it works really nice and uh, this is one of the latest products on the hue light family from uh, philips now that i have talked about the philips hue uh, light i'm gonna switch now and talk about uh, another switch the philips uh, hue dimmer switch uh, and i will just uh, tell a little bit about the difference that it has with the hue tab switch In the turn to play with my Philips uh, Hue dimmer switch which I have installed right here underneath my uh, Nest uh, thermostat in my living room um, I set it up, uh, I really like that uh, it lets you choose what you want uh, either to control individual lights or um, predefined scene that you have already set up previously so I set it up with individual lights and um, I set it up to turn on my uh, living room lights, turn them on and off, and uh, my main uh, entrance light. So uh, it's really nice. I really like, I've been playing with it. I like that you can detach it from the plate. Um, I like as well that you don't have to drill anything. It has adhesive tape, so it's really good. And um, so now like I press on, my lights come on easily like uh, I press off the lights come off easily like the only thing that uh, I don't know how it will work like 
right now the the wall plate is attached to the wall and there is no way like the batteries are on the back of the plate so right now I don't see really an easy way to detach it to get access to the batteries so I don't know later when I need to replace them how I'm gonna do that um, it has a little wedge underneath there maybe that's the way to access it I don't know but I'm afraid that if I force it too much I will detach the whole plate from uh, the wall and the, adhes the adhesive uh, the strips are not gonna work anymore so I don't know I will wait until it runs slow on battery but uh, right now it works very nice it works every time and uh, I actually have a new uh, kind of love for the dimmer switch. I underestimated it at first when I when it came out. I would probably have not bought it if I didn't have the chance to test it. But now I really like it and uh, it looks really nice right here in my living room. The way the dimmer switch works is you set it up through your app. Um, uh, you uh, install it and then uh, you put it on search mode and then your bridge looks for it and then uh, it's really straightforward to set it up and uh, so what you have with this uh, the basic functionality of turning your lights on and off um, or like if you uh, prefer you have uh, two intensity buttons which you can increase intensity or slowly decrease uh, the intensity uh, so there you go it uh, takes one notch down the intensity at a time, but uh, it works really nice. And uh, this is a, a little bit different than uh, how the uh, hue tap switch works, which is uh, right here. The hue tap, I had already talked about it before, but uh, mainly you have four buttons like you can program three different scenes um, on the tab and then uh, you have a master turn off button on uh, which is the big one and uh, this one is a little bit better than the dimmer switch I like it that it doesn't require batteries it's all mechanical power it uh, generates the power that it needs when you press the button so it's really nice um, also well the difference is the hue tab cost $60 the dimmer switch cost uh, I think 20 or 30 dollars so that's uh, kind of uh, the big difference if you uh, if you think but uh, I like both of them they are really good products and uh, um, they offer different uh, uh, things so uh, uh, they complement each other really nice uh, and it depends really on uh, what kind of lights and what kind of functionality you want to have in each area but they are both uh, really nice devices and uh, the best feature is that they are detachable so you can carry them around you don't have to stand up all the time if you don't have your phone around uh, with you so uh, that's the Hue dimmer uh, switch and the Hue tap switch